we always fight, but we never bring it online. And I just feel like um, this could have stayed offline. These are fights that happen all the time. And I totally understand the permission thing. I owned up to that. Like I, I should have asked all the girls in the photo, um, but I don't know. It's just, it was just a weird situation and I'm taking the photo down. It, I, the photo doesn't even like make me feel good anymore looking at it. Now it just reminds me of this drama. Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Nikki and Gabby are arguing publicly on social media after Nikki posted a photo without Gabby's permission that hadn't been photoshopped the way she usually likes it. They had an ongoing public feud, some of which has since been deleted, but you know the internet manages to get receipts almost immediately. Gabby had posted on her Instagram story, everyone has their own insecurities, but to use it against them publicly when you can't admit you're wrong is wrong. Here we can see leaked messages between Nikki and Gabby. Nikki had said, I did ask, want to quit? You're fine. Gabby had then said, Nikki told me she'd take down her story if I took down my rant. I took down my rant and now she's going on her own rant. Just stop, OMG. Nikki had said, I'll delete my story if you delete yours. I only posted them to defend myself if people come for me from your story. You're literally sending hate my way. I did it out of defense. Gabby had then tweeted, guys, please stop hating on my sister. She may have done me wrong, whatever. It doesn't mean I condone harassment and bullying. I don't like anyone who hates her. Now let's finally move on. Gabby had also retweeted, only an insecure woman would blast her own sister for being insecure. All because she posted a photo that Gabby did not like her face in because it wasn't retouched. Here we can see fans were commenting on the situation stating, the fact that Nikki and Gabby, who are twins and share a YouTube channel, are having a public argument on social media because one of them didn't edit the other one's body before they posted a photo is so funny. I love them, but they need to chill. This whole thing is honestly so petty. They are both in the wrong. Nikki for not seeking permission. Gabby for manipulating the situation to make it seem like it wasn't about her face when it was at least 50%. Screenshots okay. Both for taking it to social media. And here we can see the leaked photo that Gabby wasn't happy about. A fan had tweeted, Nikki Martino posted a topless photo shoot with her sister Gabby and her friends and it seems that Gabby isn't too happy about it. They got in a little feud in the comment section. Gabby had said, not really something I want out there but okay. Nikki had said, Gabby, you'll be if sent them to all of us and these pics were your idea. Gabby had responded, you want to make this argument public? Okay, but I asked you after sending them to you, make sure you send me what you're going to post for approval. You can't defend this action, that's simply immature. I didn't bring this public, you did. What's sad is I have good memories of these photos and wanted to share. Not everything is about photoshop and done out of spite. <laughs> Gabby then responded, also if you're going to post pics like this without my approval, the least you can do is tag Colin's photography page for credit, not his Instagram. Thanks. Here we can see Gabby sent Nikki a message saying, you told me you would let me edit. I'm going to have to have Phil mock up a contract now. You've done this way too much. I kindly ask you. I posted them as Colin sent them to me, lol. This is the a millionth time. There's no such thing, but cool. Talk to your BF then. He sent them to us. I thought your BF picked the ones you looked best in. We only got three. I told you before you post, please show me what you're posting and let me edit. It. My face looks disgusting. Nikki had responded, I don't edit my face or anyone's in photos. Lol. Gabby, you look like yourself. Nikki had then said, never thought I'd have to do this online regarding my own family, but I gotta stand up for myself. Nikki had also said, Gabby, you look like yourself. You have a problem. I just posted what Colin sent me. You're too tan to even see your face. Well, if you can't respect me for who I am as a public figure, posting for large audiences, then we need a contract set up. I don't care. I kindly asked you. Colin sent you raw photos with filters. He didn't retouch anyone. I can't respect you for posting a photo of our friends that your boyfriend sent me. He doesn't retouch. I asked you before you post, show me. Nikki had then stated, I'm clearing this once and for all. I posted a photo my sister didn't like of herself and it didn't have to blow up to this. I blocked her number after these messages to let her calm down, but then she took to social media. More fans were tweeting because they were angry about Nikki and Gabby's feud. Another fan had said, I never tweet, but here we go. Do we forget Gabby photoshops her pictures? That's why she's angry. Not because Nikki posted without her consent. Nikki exposed her and she's angry about it. Normally being a bitch about permission is justified, but in this case, and then she showed a photo of Gabby that had clearly been photoshopped. If we zoom in here, we can clearly see that the fence behind Gabby has been distorted. Nikki had also taken to her Instagram story to further comment on the situation. Here's what she had to say. In a goddamn airport with no makeup on, so clearly it's not all about looks for me. Um, I always vlog without makeup on, like I have nothing to hide, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm the type of person where, like, I, I get in drama with my sisters all the time. We've always fought growing up, and, like, 
my older sister and I fight all the time, but we never bring it online. And I always fight with Gabby. We always fight, but we never bring it online. And I just feel like um, this could have stayed offline. These are fights that happen all the time. And I totally understand the permission thing. I owned up to that. Like I, I should have asked all the girls in the photo, um, but I don't know. It's just, it was just a weird situation and I'm taking the photo down. It, I, the photo doesn't even like make me feel good anymore looking at it. Now it just reminds me of this drama. So it's not even, it's literally not worth it. But at the end of the day, um, I would never post someone. I want to let you guys know though, that I would never expose yeah, someone's body so without so their I permission. These photos were all of our ideas and we were all so excited to take these photos. It was such a good memory. And Gabby's boyfriend, Colin, did spend like over a week retouching and editing them. So I thought it was okay. I did remember Gabby telling me to tell her before she posted them. Um, but I thought that was before they were retouched by him. So it was just miscommunication. So I deleted the photo and I'm gonna delete my story. And if any of you guys are watching this confused, that's a good thing. Let's keep this in the past. <laughs> now, Gabby had also posted a lengthy story to her Instagram, also addressing the drama from her perspective, but it had been deleted very quickly. Will the girls continue their feud behind the scenes or will things get messy online again? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. In more news, Jacqueline Hill is missing. She took your money and she ran. There's been very little content on her social media since her recent more Volume 2 palette launch, which is interesting to note because she's already infamous for only posting content to social media when she wants to release a new product. Fans were commenting on this and also brought up some tea about Nikki tutorials, to which Nikki had immediately responded to. The fan had said, I think she'll be back because it hasn't sold out. She needs to make more sympathy. Also, I found it interesting Nikki tutorials made a video days after it not selling out. I'm sure Morphe paid a pretty penny for her to make that video. Just an observation. Nikki tutorials had responded, if Morphe paid me for the video, I would have disclosed. My video was not sponsored. Jacqueline had also taken to her Instagram story not long before Nikki had responded to the rumours, pretty much crying and thanking Nikki for approving of her new volume 2 palette with Morphe. I just got done watching Nikki Tutorial's review of my palette and I was like watching it on pins and needles because I respect her opinion so much and I know that Nikki is one of those very honest influencers who I appreciate and like really listen to her recommendations because if she didn't enjoy my palette she would say it like respectfully and she's very honest in this video and very raw about the things that she likes and dislikes and I I was starting to get emotional I'm like bitch you can't cry you did your makeup what are you doing like you have to leave the house <laughs> but I got emotional just over how much she enjoyed the palette and just the things that she said and you know she talks about briefly some of the issues I've had in the past and how she wasn't expecting this to be that great of a palette and how she was pleasantly surprised and it just caught me off guard and I'm just so I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful to everybody who has received this palette and I know that I have seen I am so sorry like my tatas were starting to hang out on that last Instagram story and that was not cute um but yeah, I'll post her video here so you guys can watch it and swipe up if you want to check it out. She does two different eye looks. She uses probably like 10 different shadows from the palette in one video, which is awesome. So you can see the way they perform for yourself. And I'm just so grateful and thankful for the response of this palette. It's just, it, it feels good. And it, it was it was necessary for my soul and my heart and just my headspace to have a win. You know, it's like, it was time for me to put something out with good feedback and i'm so glad that you guys have just been loving it so much and i'm so grateful and appreciative to you and yeah i feel like my hard work on this paid off and thank you lord may it continue now jacqueline is also being called out for old marketing tactics on her facebook sponsored morphe post here she stated that the stock is not only limited but also back in stock when in reality there's so much product both in stores and online that jacqueline doesn't know what to do with it the facebook sponsored post says jacqueline cosmetics are back in stock in limited quantities so don't wait to get glowing Jacqueline Cosmetics, back in stock. It's also interesting to note that her new palette with Morphe hasn't sold out. Like in every other launch, the palette seemed to sell out, but not this time, which is actually pretty interesting because the palette does have a lit colors, not gonna lie. Now there's some more drama that's come to light recently, which makes fans question whether or not Jacqueline Cosmetics is owned by Morphe. Here's why. A fan had tweeted, I keep seeing speculation about Morphe owning Jacqueline Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna leave these here. And here we can see that Jacqueline Cosmetics 
Phoenix is a limited liability company name, most likely under the Morphe branch. It's also interesting to note that in the manager and members section of the company, instead of Jacqueline Hill's name being there, it's Eric Boyce. Now who is Eric Boyce? An SVP strategy at Elevate Brand Partners. On the following page it says Morphe LLC, limited liability company name. And as we can see here, the chief executive officer is Miles McCormick, CEO Elevate Morphe. A fan had tweeted, all of this was discovered during the lipstick fiasco. Joe Chan was the assigned tax manager for Jacqueline Cosmetics LLC because Jacqueline registered in Delaware whilst living in Florida, making her tax exemption status invalid under Delaware state law. Elevate are Jacqueline's business partners. Miles is the CEO of Morphe. Due to an alleged $200 million investment in Morphe, Morphe have a financial and alleged investment in Jacqueline Cosmetics. Makes sense Jacqueline could not delay the palette launch. It's not her call, not her product. Morphe have majority ownership. What are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation. Thank you.